What is the wisdom behind the way so many marids are scattered around the world and distant from the Darya? It's a very good question. Hmm. When Holy Prophet والسلام, when he was living, he used to send Sahabis to different parts of the world. Did they want to leave the presence of the Prophet? No. They didn't want to leave the presence of the Prophet. But Prophet والسلام, sent them. Hazrat ibn Abbas, one Sahabi, he went all the way to Central Asia. He did not speak their language, but because he was carrying the light of the Holy Prophet والسلام, the whole Central Asia became Muslim. And when the Holy Prophet والسلام, passed, more Sahabis, they started now leaving. Mecca, they start leaving Medina for different reasons. So many of them, they left. Do you think the Sahabi Kiram, they left to find a better life? To find a better job? <laughs> no. They left when the Prophet passed, alayhi salatu wasalam. Some of them, the presence of the Prophet was so strong there, and their hearts are broken. And they cannot carry on because everywhere they look, they see the footsteps, they see the memories, they see the presence of the Prophet. And it's killing them that they ask for permission. For example, like Hazrat Bilal, to move. And that permission was given to him. He moved away from Medina. One night, he was in, he moved all the way to Shams, no? And one night he had a dream. Holy Prophet ﷺ came to him and calling for him. He got up and he started running. Shafan, he told us his story. He said, understand this. He started just running. He didn't book a ticket. He didn't carry his clothes. He didn't prepare for it. He started running because Prophet called him. Where is Shams? And where is Medina? He started running. And when he came to Medina, he went to the masjid and he started calling Azan. He started calling Azan and everybody that was there, they got shocked because that is Bilal's voice. That is Bilal. There is a muezzin of the Holy Prophet, والسلام. They were crying, they were going crazy. They said, Prophet must have come back. Now when we say, don't worry, our Shaykh is going to come back. So many people say, you're crazy, you're out of your mind, you're out of religion. If those people who said that was present in the time of the Prophet, they would have said the same thing to the Sahabi Kiram too. They came running to the masjid. They thought Prophet came back because Bilal is here. And when Bilal, radiallahu an, he started saying, Ashadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah, he fainted. He expired. <laughs> he was sent to different parts of the world. So many were sent to do what? To bring the light of the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam. Then these are the representatives, the mumasil of the Prophet. They're going everywhere. Sahabi Kiram, after the Prophet ﷺ had passed, they went everywhere. Now only the world is starting to find out. They went to the Scandinavian countries, all the way north. They went all the way to Africa. They went all the way to Southeast Asia. They went to China. They went to America. Like I said, they didn't go to these different places to look for a better life. 
better job, better prospects to raise their children. They went there because Prophet sent them there to put the seeds of Islam there. That maybe it's going to take 100 years, maybe it's going to take 1,000 years, but that plant is going to grow and the fruits, they're going to come out. And that is the time when those fruits is necessary to become, to be collected for the Ahir Zaman's work. So, murids are scattered all over the world, yes, to take the light of the Sheikh to different parts of the world, different parts of the country, yes, what we are talking about today. It is coming together. Yes, we have a Derga, there is a Merkaz. Everyone should come to visit if they can. But, Maybe you have a work out there. Those ones, there's all the way in Australia, they have a work there. The bridge is going to be built between here to Australia, to Malaysia, to China, through Peru, to Russia, through Africa. Now, we're just putting some seeds there, planting something there. Who knows what's going to come out? So, the light of the Prophet ﷺ, that is in his worries, they have to be spread to the rest of the world. And that is our job now. But like I said, those who are there, as much as you are doing the work of the Prophet ﷺ, you are spreading the light. It doesn't mean now that you are not going to work, you are not going to raise families, you are not going to have a life. You are going to have it, but it is not going to be the priority. You're not going to be busy with that. Priority is to bring the teachings and the light and the mercy of the awliya Allah, of the Sultan al-Awliya. Sultan al-Awliya, Shaykh Mawlana Muhammad Nazim al may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Prophet raise his station higher and higher, grant him a long life and a healthy life. Uh, he is the greatest Shaykh. The greatest Shaykh you think they only have one or two or three people under them? They have thousands. The great Sultan, the great Ottoman Padishah, you think he has only one or two vizirs? He has hundreds of kings under him. What vizirs? <laughs> so, you think the Sultan of Lavalia is not going to have... Uh, Thousands of those ones representing him that he's going to send to the rest of the world to carry his light. Alhamdulillah, shukur Allah. His light was carried by Sayyid al Saif. And he brought that, brought that here and he established it here. And we are continuing that, inshallah, Rahman, as much as we can. We are nothing, we are very weak ones, we are very dirty ones. But... We have some work to do, and we are going to concentrate on that. Assalamu alaikum wa